So welcome back. We got Star Wars Galaxy Heroes here and super exciting uh, day yesterday and today. If you go into events, we have Tales from the Outer Rim 4. So it's a marquee event where you are going to earn Moff Gideon shards. Now if you don't know who Moff Gideon is and you're not familiar with the Mandalorian, first of all, what are you doing? You got to get up to date. Uh, it's an amazing show. It's on Disney+. Plus. It's in season two right now. So I'm not going to spoil anything for you, except I'll just tell you who this guy is. So the storyline is five years after Return of the Jedi, after the destruction of the second Death Star. Moff Gideon is leading a little bit of the uh, remnants of uh, some of the Empire here. So let's jump into this event. We're at Tier 1. I have, don't know anything about this event yet. I haven't watched any videos or anything. I'm just doing it blind for the first time. And I'm focusing for the free-to-play players here. We're not whaling. We're not buying anything. This is what's going to happen. If you're free-to-play, you jump into this event. This is what you're going to see and what you're going to get. So we're going to get one-time rewards only. We're going to borrow Moff Gideon for this event. And there's a little thing about him. So he wields the dark saber, And he can use it to perform the dark saber lunge, inflicting armor shred for the entire battle. So we're going to get 10 Moff Gideon shards as a reward for Tier 1. Uh, so we're boring Moff Gideon. He's got some leader ability here. Let's see what he does. So at the start of battle, he has exactly one dark side ally, two dark side allies. All dark side allies gain 20% max health and protection. So dark side, anybody dark side. We'll have some synergy with them. So let's throw in some dark side allies with Moff Gideon here. All right. That looks like fun. Let's see what we can do. Moff Gideon, he led a faction of Imperial Remnants, and now we've got him on the hollow tables. He wields the dark saber, and he can perform a dark saber lunge. This will inflict permanent armor shred on the enemy. Boom. Take that. So we're going up kind of a mishmash of uh, people we're going up against here. We have Sabine. We have the Mandalorian himself. We got Django. Gar. And a super commando. Alright. Take care of some of these guys here. Moff Gideon, he's got the blaster. Let's get rid of Gar. So now we just have Mandalorian left. So I'm trying to kind of take these attacks slow and easy. Because I want to see what Moff Gideon can do. Alright, so Moff Gideon. So we used the Dark Saber Lunge already. What else does he have here? He'll call all Imperial Trooper allies to assist. Dealing 40% less damage. All units lose. Okay. Can't be resisted. And then his disruptive shot. So he'll deal damage and gain one stack of insight. Can't copy or dispel. Prevented. If Moff Gideon has at least four stacks of insight, he gains special ability Subversion Volley. So with Subversion Volley... He deals damage to all enemies and daze them for two turns. Can't be resisted by enemies with the leader tag. He loses all stacks of insight when... Okay. Fantastic. So I don't think this battle will last long enough in Tier 1. But we got our 10 Moff Gideon shards. Look at that. Let's move on. So, tier two, we'll get 10 more shards. Uh, same kind of deal. So, we know Dark Side, and I believe it was also. Uh, let's see what else he has here Imperial Trooper. So, we can, we can add some Dark Side while well, his leader ability is all geared towards Dark Side. And he'll call Imperial Troopers for assist. Well, my Imperial Troopers are pretty sad here. 
So uh, maybe at least for these lower tiers, let's give him some Imperial support. So now he's going back against a Bounty Hunter lineup here. So a Disruptive Shot. It's going to give him Insight. Fantastic. Stacks of Volley. When he gains four stacks. Yeah, on all enemies. Well, he has four stacks now, so let's see what it does. All enemies, days. Alright. Let's do some... Do some cleanup here. So yeah, I think my Imperial Troopers right now are not really geared and powerful enough to for this full event. So I think uh, I'll go back to the dark side for the higher tier so we can move our way up. Dengar here. So all we're down left is to Django. Done. Alright, we got our Gideon shards again. Being the marquee event, I think the way it, this no events normally work is by the end of it, you'll get your three-star character. So yeah, we're already at 20 out of 25. This will put us at 30. Let's go back to dark side characters. All right. And so these guys all have increased health. Know your adversaries inflicts demoralized on enemies. This debuff will remain on them until the end of the battle or until they or Moff Gideon are defeated. Interesting. So I believe that's what... Yeah, demoralized. So they're going to have minus 25% offense, minus 20 or minus 10% critical chance, minus 15% critical damage. It does not stack with other debuffs. But it will stay on them until they or Moff Gideon are defeated. So let's Shredder. Let's let Vader do his Vader stuff. Yeah, have all my dark side characters just stunning away and shocking away. So we walk through tiers one to three, no problem. So we've unlocked, or we have enough shards now to unlock Moff Gideon. Let's keep going, see how many shards we can get here. Oh, look at this lineup that they're giving us. So, maxed out, gear 13, beautiful, level 85, guys. We're gonna get really get to feel what Moff Gideon can do here. <laughs> So tactical deployment, it grants all allies max health, max protection if Moff Gideon's squad consists of one dark side tank, two dark side attackers, and one other dark side support. So they've given us pretty much the ideal uh, squad here. We're gonna have to face Watt. And we got some B2, we have the IG, Droidka, and obviously B1. So, yo, he's not light side. All enemies, an evil failure, two stacks. Oh, I didn't use the spell buffs. There we go. Eh, 
and let's call our Imperial friends to assist. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Start to clean things up. Very nice. So as you can see, if you have the ideal Imperial lineup, like they suggest, just the buffs um, and how well everybody synergizes together is unbelievable. Okay, and now they're gonna drop us back down. We'll keep with our dark side guys. Because my Imperial troops need some work. Now we, oh yeah, look at that, we got the Ewoks. We're gonna control the situation, that's right. And he drops all their turn meter, so that's gonna be fantastic against the Ewoks, considering uh, once they start get going and synergizing together, they can be really annoying. So that's good to know. With all that turn meter reduction uh, against squads that are known for be having turn meter buffs with each other. So that's it. That's it. All the Moff Gideon shards you're going to earn. And then there's the bonus tier. Bonus tier again. They're going to give you the full squad. Moff Gideon at his max so you can really see what these guys can do. And we're going to go against the uh, Mandalorian squad here. So IG-11 and Quill, I know these guys are going to buff off each other. Let's see what... And obviously the child is doing his cute little child moves. Give everybody games. IG 11's out. Let's take out the wheel. Mando's gotta be next. Alright. Grief, sorry, buddy. We gotta do it to you. Let the Imperials attack. And Cara Dune's the last one to stand. Finish her off. That's it. There's your whole event right there for you. And you have some nice mods at the end with uh, Omega Mat. So, we've done it. So, five tiers. You got the bonus tier. And now, if you go back so we can activate Moff Gideon. So, in total, so we're going to activate him. Took 25 shards just to activate him initially. When you activate them, you're gonna get your two star Moff Gideon. And then I think we should have enough shards. Yeah, we can promote them one time here. Three star Moff Gideon. So, for all the free to play players, this is what you're gonna get when you do the marquee event yesterday and today. Still have a little bit of time left to get into it. It's fun when you get to do the marquee events, you get to see these guys maxed out gear 13s and what they can do with all their abilities and when they give you the ideal squad thanks so much for watching you guys take care get out there and unlock your moff gideon have a good one